Okay, so you know the process that I teach my committed clients, goal setting and accountability. This is not all that I teach, but it's a it's a big part of the confidence coaching that I teach and that I practice as well. So for those of you that are interested in improving your relationships, starting a business or if you've got an existing business and you really want to improve it, your career, your finances, uh, weight loss, fitness training, you want to improve your communication skills, your confidence, get over your social anxiety, your being too introverted, being too awkward, opening up more, trusting people more, expressing yourself, all, all those types of things. Um, I'll, I'll give you some tips today. This is pretty much, well, this is a session I've had, had of a good client of mine. Several times we've had this conversation and the progress that he's made has been brilliant. And it's a conversation I always enjoy having with clients. As, you know, basically helping him with his personal boundaries. Um, he's not struggling anymore because we've worked at it. He's great now, but he was struggling initially in, his, in all of his areas of his life. And I was helping him with developing the discipline to say no to the wrong people and to say yes to the right people. And to explain that, this, as well, I'm sure anyone knows, there's certain people that are just not good for you in your life. You know, they're going through their own stuff. It's not personal. It can be, depending on who you are. But they're not good for you. They're not good for your mental health. They're not good to be around. So you've got to recognize that. And you've got to have the strength to say no unless you want toxic relationships. Big thing that I want to point out as well, a lot of people complain about other people being toxic and negative and being a negative influence. And I get that. But you've got to make sure that you're not like that because we've all been guilty of that. And I was like that years ago as well, moaning about everybody else, how toxic and negative and, and uh, unhealthy they were to be around. But I was no different. So make sure when you're saying that, that you're positive. When you know you're positive and you, you know that in your own heart, you're just honest with yourself and other people tell you that, good people that trust you, that also um, feel good around you and their life goes better or they just, you know, you're nice to be around. You know that you're in a good place and you can recognize that person toxic and I'm in a good place. We've got different values or we're just not in the right space at the moment. It's just not going to work. You have to say no. And it's also having the confidence, which it takes confidence to say yes to the good in your life. Because a lot of people don't feel good enough. They don't feel worthy of love of good relationships, good people. If someone treats them well, it freaks them out. I understand that. I used to be like that myself as well until I you know, got more experience, more confidence and had strong personal boundaries. So you don't wanna, you know, it's not about overdoing it. I'm not saying be paranoid of everyone. That's, that's, that's not good. But you can't be naive and just trust everybody because you're just gonna keep getting hurt and people are gonna drag you down. But sometimes, People have got to go through all these things to learn. I've, I had to learn the hard way, but hopefully I can save you some time, some pain, and you can make better decisions now. Now, um, the reason why I talk about these different things is because they're important to my clients, they're important to me, and they all coincide with the one word that I've dedicated the last 15 or 20 years of my life to um, learning and teaching others, and that's confidence. You know, if you want to have confidence, these are the things that you've got to learn and practice and they've got to become part of your personality. So losing weight, fitness and training, something that um, I teach, I love it, I live it, it's challenging, it's easy on some days, it's hard on others. I lost over 40 pounds, that's another story that I will be sharing on podcast shows. But again, they all connect with one another and that's why... I like making jokes sometimes, but they're truthful. And I, I've said before, I just like having fun sometimes. And I think I say it to a, a friend, a friend of mine, a girl or a client. I can't remember. I said to someone, you know, if you want to make more money, run up hills. And they were like, what are you talking about? And I said, I know you think I'm crazy. And I am a little bit crazy, but I know what I'm talking about. Because if you're struggling to make money, it's because you don't have confidence. You don't believe it. Or you're scared of people. Or you're scared of money. You're scared of relationships. You're scared of being uh, shouted at or arguments, or you're scared of the good, and you ain't got the discipline, you ain't got the strength. So running up hills will give you that strength and discipline that you're lacking right now to make money, and to, to help other people to make money and be a better person, or to um, get past the shame and the fears of what other people think about you. Whatever's going on in your head, it's gonna be, it's gonna be one or all these things. What else we got here? Of course, it goes back to, the kind of origin of, of the problem or a big part of it 
and I know I'm not going to cover it in today's video, but I will come back to it at some point, trauma, but I'm, we're going to go a little bit more polite than that, social anxiety. Someone who's got bad social anxiety is going to be scared of all this. They're going to be scared of money. They're going to be scared of people. They're going to be scared of relationships. They're certainly going to be scared of public speaking. They're going to be scared of training and losing weight. So um, my passion, which is I always do my best, um, is to help people with social anxiety to overcome it so they can enjoy their life and live a full life and have more money. Because I know all of you, I'm confident saying all of you are good people. If you, if you made more money, I know, well, I like to think I, I know that you'd, you'd help your parents out if they were lacking in money or you'd give some charity or you'd just be kinder, you know, um, you'd share it, you know, you really would. And that's kind of, well, that is the values that I teach. It's not just um, about money. It's about the way you treat people. You, you do those things. Or if you're doing them already, brilliant. You just do more of what you're already doing. What else we got here? So goal setting and accountability helps my clients, helps me to achieve their specific goals, whether it is a relationship, losing weight, business, money, all these things. That's what I love about this teaching. That is so simple, although it can be extremely challenging depending on the progress that you're making, the mentors you've got, how you're feeling, what you're, what's, what's going on in your life. It's so simple, yet it helps you to achieve so many goals. So some of you might be asking, well, how do you set a goal? That's a good question. It's a good question. Well, you set a goal by making a decision that you want to set a goal to begin with and you want to achieve it. So I don't know what your goal is right now. Maybe you can let me know in the box below. But I've always set a goal um, before I've written it down. It's personally for me, this is how I do it and I help my clients to do it. I always, have a, I always make a decision. And it always comes from that place of me not lying to myself. Um, it, I don't think it's ego. It's definitely from the heart. So I, just, I really want to achieve this. It's really important to me. And somewhere down the line, I'll be giving back to other people. So I know a lot of people struggle with the concept that I'm being selfish. If I just want to make money or lose weight or get confident, I've got some conflicting thoughts that, well, if you really are worried about being selfish, then when you achieve your goal, help other people to do it. I will say that to people, and I had those struggles at some point in my life. If you're so worried about making more money because of the fear of people going to think you're greedy, well, give 20% of it away then, or give half of it away, or give all of it away. So do you understand my point? Or if you're worried about losing weight because you feel like um, it might make your friends feel insecure, well, that's their problem. And if they really want to be better in life, you would help them. That's being a good friend. Obviously, you can't force people. You can't say to a friend, well, I've lost weight, you're overweight, you should lose weight. That's rude. But if they say, oh, I'm really inspired by it, I'm proud of the weight you've lost and how you look, and, you know, can I do it? Would you help me? Of course I'm going to help you. I'll do anything for a friend um, in the right context. So if they say, you know, you've made a lot of money, you've done well, I'm proud of you, like I'm struggling, could you help me? Yeah, if you, yeah, I'll help you out. Of course, I'll, this is how I did it, it's how you can do it. So social skills come into play with all these things and training and running, they give you the confidence, you know, they give you that um, self-belief to open up and have these conversations and that's really what I, get, what I get paid to do, what I love, is have these um, honest conversations with my clients because it's always one conversation that's either um, enhancing people's life or destroying it and it's usually a negative conversation that people are battling all the time privately I'm not good enough I'm not attractive I'm not smart people don't respect me they don't view me as successful I can't do it because of my background because of the bullying or because of what people have said to me or because of how I've been feeling about myself for so many years or because of the image that I have of myself that's a negative conversation, and if you don't challenge it and fight it, nothing's going to change. So the conversation I have with my clients is this conversation. You can do it, if, but I'm going to be honest, it ain't going to be easy. Even if you take my coaching and you pay me and I help, you've got to work your ass off. You're going to get uncomfortable, you're going to have really good days, you're going to have bad days or challenging days, but it's worth it if you're committed. If you stick with it, you're going to grow, you're going to succeed. It'll be the best investment that you ever made. So um, that's what I wanted to share today and doing the running and the training and the mentoring and the coaching and 
spending a lot of time with good people, friends and family, and just reflecting on my experiences and just telling the truth. These are, these are the things that you eventually will come to. Anyone can do it. Anyone and anyone can change their financial situation, any area of life, their physical body, their health, their thinking, and especially their communication skills, their confidence, the way that they speak, be in themselves, make friends. And ultimately, all this is about having more confidence to be a better person and then you, you know, you're giving more then to people, you know, rather than always feeling that you need to get and you need to take. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share. Uh, by the way, I think I'm doing a great job, guys. I'm, I'm tired today. It's a good tired. I'll do another video and explain what I mean by a good tired and a negative tired. And I've been fasting. I will eat some dinner later on. So um, that's why I'm, um, I'm in a good mood, but my face is a bit serious, which, which is kind of, this is kind of the, mood that I like and I'm um, I'm sort of thinking about I can't wait to eat after I just clean my place today I'm meeting a friend after I train I have a great day today but it's been all out but I don't make an excuse it's the accountability so yeah goal setting is about making a decision it's an important goal to you then you hold yourself accountable because obviously if you've got if you set a goal great but how are you going to check if you're making an effort to achieve that goal there's only two ways that you can do that you, you either do it yourself which you can do, and I've done it. Well, if you can't trust yourself, then you get a mentor, um, or you get around a group of people that are good people, that are supportive and encouraging, and not energy draining, all right? Hope you enjoyed that confidence coaching lesson today. I'll speak to all of you soon, all right? Have a great time. Subscribe to the channel. Any questions in the box below? I'll see you soon, all right? Bye.